Welcome to Indusoft's presentation of Indusoft Web Studio connecting to Emerson Server via OPC XI. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what is Indusoft Web Studio and that it's an easy to use HMI, SCADA and software runtime and development environment that runs on any current Microsoft operating system including mobile versions, embedded versions, desktop including Windows 7 and even server editions and how this scalability makes operators more efficient in what they do and makes your operations run better. We'll get into the XI demo in just a moment, but first, who is Indusoft? Well, we were established in 1997, and we were the first in the industry to support Windows CE, as well as desktop and server editions. Uh, we architected the product so it would be compatible and scalable for all Microsoft operating systems. We have a patent for our database connectivity, and we've been a Microsoft Gold Partner for over six years. We've won numerous awards, and in 2010 we've won a couple, uh, including Control Engineering's Engineer's Choice Award and Frost & Sullivan's Customer Value Enhancement Award. So what is Indusoft Web Studio? Well, in addition to running as a standalone HMI or many types of embedded architectures, Indusoft Web Studio HMI and SCADA software acts as the bridge between your manufacturing area or your process or any other area where data needs to be collected and then it facilitates getting that information up into the enterprise for use in production or supply chain management for for example MES or quality control or other areas where information is key to improvement in your process and the way you do things. So here's an overview of the Emerson Delta V OPC XI server. Uh, in development there was a focus on security as well as ease of use and the openness and based on a standard .NET uh, interface for OPC Classic functionality. The Delta V system provides OPC Classic servers for data access, alarms and events, and historical data access. The Delta V OPC XI server exposes all three of the OPC Classic interface data types, allowing customers uh, to access Delta V real-time process data, alarms and events, and historical process data all in one interface. The Delta V system will continue to support the Delta V OPC Classic interfaces, giving the user the choice between OPC Classic and OPC XI. The Delta V OPC XI server was introduced in June of 2010 with the Delta V version 11.3 release with backwards compatibility to the Delta V 10.3.1 release. This drawing shows a typical Delta V system architecture using the Delta V OPC XI server to provide real-time process data, alarms and events, and historical process data to Delta V and third-party OPC XI clients within the Delta V system and outside the Delta V system on the other side of the Delta V system firewall. Now we're going to show you how easy it is to get information into Indusoft Web Studio version 7.0 from an OPC XI server. Um, the first thing I need to do is establish a connection to the server. I'm going to click here on the COM tab and you can see that we have uh, OPC Classic connections. We can communicate with OPC UA and we can be an OPC XI client as well. I'm going to right click here on connections and here in the server name I'm just going to type uh, XI demo and I'm going to put in the server field a URL that Emerson has given us uh, access to their server at. Uh, in the protocol field I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to leave this as auto, but I could choose different types of protocols or even uh, custom and choose specific endpoints for the different uh, type of protocols that there are. Now inherent in OPC XI is um, because it's built on Windows Communication Foundation or WCF, uh, inherent in that is security. So we've enabled that for this uh, connection and we're going to use uh, a username and password on this. And put that in here. Just make sure I type this right. And click on OK. Now once we have this connection established to this server, now I can add what we call a worksheet in Indusoft Web Studio that will tie uh, using this connection, this server that we just created, uh, or this, this connection that we just created to the server, I will tie an item in the OPC XI server to an Indusoft tag name. Now in this case I'm going to create, uh, let's see, we'll call it tank temperature. 
and we're going to uh, be notified that that tag does not exist in Indusoft Web Studio. So I can create that in um, my tag database. I can create all the tags all at once, or I could do it like this on the fly, either way. Now I know for this tag coming from, or this value coming from the Emerson OPCXI server is a string type, but we can choose real or integer or the various types that there might be. Uh, of data coming across. Now for this the browse uh, feature I can browse to the OPCXI server. In this case it happens to be halfway across the United States from where I'm located. So this uses the real world internet connection to uh, communicate to their server and then we see their dialog box that shows their tree structure of all the objects that they could present uh, out to a client such as a new soft web studio. Now, I'm going to navigate through here and connect to, let's see, we go to modules, we go through wireless, we'll connect to their temperature sensor, and it's way down in this tree. You can see that we can navigate through their entire tree structure here and grab this current value here. And this is the uh, path that it takes to get to that sensor. And here's the connection to this tag name from this sensor using this connection that we just created a few minutes ago. So I'm going to save this and now that this uh, connection has been established and, and the data can get into this tag name, we can share this. This is one of the unique qualities of Indusoft Web Studio. We can share this data with, with anything at this point. It could be shared to a PLC. It could be shown on the screen. It could be sent to a database. Uh, it could even be sent to a mobile phone or, or some type of remote device over any TCP IP connection or even a web-enabled connection, including... Um, uh, iPads or, or uh, cell phones or Blackberries or anything of that nature. So now that I have this established, I'm going to go back to my screen and I'm going to add a piece of data. Let's say this is the, the tank temperature for this tank here. I'm going to add some text here that says tank temperature. And I'm going to add some pound signs after this. Now the pound signs are a little special in Indusoft Web Studio. They allow me to get data in or out using this animation here called the text data link. So now I can tie that piece of text to uh, the tag that we just created called tank temperature. And once I've done that, during runtime, those pound signs will be replaced with the real value coming from, in this case, the OPCXI server. So now that I have that, I can save this screen, close the screen, and we'll go into run mode. And now we will see the data coming from the OPCXI server across the real world internet, um, in this case, uh, halfway across the United States. Now the first time we establish connection we do some handshaking, we establish what types of communications we can handle and then soon after that you'll see the data coming in. Now this is real world temperature sensor uh, in Austin, Texas at the Emerson um, facility and uh, again I'm viewing this halfway across the country. For Delta V OPC XI server uh, product questions, please contact Chris at the email address shown here. Or for OPCXI server implementation or client server development questions, please contact Lee at the address shown here. For any other Delta V system related questions, please contact askdeltav at emerson.com. For more information, uh, please contact us uh, by email at in info at indusoft.com or you can call us at uh, area code 512-349-0334 in the U.S. Or you can visit our website, which is www.indusoft.com. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed this presentation and demo, and uh, have a great day.